So the next thing that we're going to take a look at is navigating through our asset model that we configured. And the asset model itself provides context to the data that we're looking at. So all of the information that we we're just looking at came in the context of that finished water pump station. As we drill down into a different area or level inside of our model, we'll have the ability to see different types of information. So here, for example, I don't have historical trends that have been configured for the displacement pump, but I have real-time trends which are coming in. I very simply could have added that to my historian and had it plotted both real-time and historical data, but in this case I just wanted to show you the difference that we can do both. And we can do both on the same trend chart as well, so we could have real-time overlaid with historical if we would like to do that as well.